Hey everyone, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today I'm gonna to show you an easy way to use a free translation plugin that works great with Oxygen. And this came up from a client of mine who was asking me to add some kind of translation to their site, but they weren't interested in spending a bunch of money. They only wanted to just pay me for basically an hour of labor to see how far I could get in that and see if they could come up with something relatively easy. So the free plugin that I found just uses the Google Translate engine and it automatically translates everything on the page, including stuff inside of Oxygen, totally fine. So with this particular client, they have some people who find their products from overseas and like to browse, but sometimes they call and are asking questions that they could have answered themselves on the website had they been able to actually read the language. So that's why we went the route that we did with this particular client. So what I wanted to do is basically just show you what I did. It didn't take me very long and it's really easy. So basically what I have set up in front of us is an example WordPress install with some content in Oxygen. And so I'm just gonna go into my plugin section here and you can see I only have Oxygen installed at the moment, but what we're gonna get is a free translate plugin. So just click on add new. And then if you search for G translate, then there's quite a few different options, but the one in particular that I use is this one right here, this first one that pops up. So just click on install and then activate that plugin. So now that it's activated, you can just click on the settings button here, or if you go to the settings option, you can just click on G translate to actually start configuring this. So it looks like there's a lot here, but really there's not, none of it is very difficult to kind of sort through. So the widget look, you can see there's this little preview on the right side over here. You can change it to a number of different options. Just have a plain drop down with the names of the languages. You can change it to the flags with the language codes, or you can just do language names, however you want to do it. There's a bunch of different options, but I think I just would leave it as the nice drop down with flags. And that way you can kind of see immediately that this is a language selector drop down. I think that's pretty clear. Translate from, you would just of course change to the actual language of your website. These two paid options will skip of course, and then auto switch to browser language is a cool option that I think totally makes sense. So I'm gonna turn that on. Show and menu, I'm gonna leave to none because of course we don't have a menu on our site using WordPress, but if you did, you could do that. Although this plugin does give you a short code, so I'm gonna take that short code and put it in our oxygen header so you can see how you might add it to your entire site. The other option is they have this floating language selector and there's a number of different options. You know, you could do it in the top right where it's sticky and follows you around as you scroll. Or if you choose the top right, no scroll, then of course it's not gonna follow you. But this is a little wonky with Z index and sometimes it overlays content, especially on a full width site. So you might not wanna do that, but just to show you, we'll do top right for the moment. Now, if you scroll down here, this is the massive list of languages. And the way that you can configure the order of them is basically just by dragging and dropping. So of course, with our website being English, we probably will want that to be first. And then let's say we want Spanish. We just drag and drop it there. Then let's do French, German. We're gonna disable Arabic and Chinese, maybe disable Dutch too, disable Portuguese and Russian, and then we'll pop Italian under there as well. So we'll just do the Romance languages and German. And then if you come down here, there's a couple other options for alternative flags. So you can use the United States flag instead of the English flag. And then of course you could do something like the Mexican flag instead of Spain. So if those apply to you, go ahead and select those. You can basically ignore this code right here in this red text. It's kind of hard to see, but this little short code, this G translate is all you need to make the little widget appear on your page, or you can put it in an oxygen template and it will render wherever that template applies. So what I'm going to do is just copy this. But of course, I already turned on the floating top right appearance, so I'm just gonna save this, and then we will go refresh our homepage over here. And now you can see I have this dropdown, which of course is set to English, but of course it doesn't look quite right because it's kind of stuck to the wrong place on my site. And the way that it kind of hovers up there, I don't really like. I'd rather have it just be in my header row, or maybe like, you know, a second header row and be above the login button, above the social icon, something like that. Something that blends into the site a little bit more. But to get the point across, if I go ahead and change this to Spanish, you can see that it changes everything on my site for me. As I mentioned earlier, this is a free plugin and this is not gonna be perfect. So obviously these words are longer in Spanish than they are in English. So it's gonna mess up things like this, such as the width of your menu items here. So you might wanna change this header row to full width to accommodate for that. But the point is that it pretty much transcribes everything for you in a readable format. Granted, of course, I don't speak Spanish, so I can't speak to the validity of you know, how accurate these headings and texts and all that are. But really the point is that it's free, it's something quick, and I think someone who speaks Spanish would at least get the premise of what this is trying to relay for you. 
And then of course, if we go back up to the top, let's just change it to like German or something. I definitely don't speak German, but hopefully those of you that do might be able to at least understand the point of this particular website. And then just to demonstrate once again, I can switch it back to English and everything is working perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna go back to the G Translate options here and I'm gonna turn off the floating menu, just change that to no, and then I'm gonna scroll down here, copy this short code, G Translate, and then I'm gonna save that. And let's go into our oxygen template and we can make this appear in the header of our site. Go to my main template here, edit this. So now what I'm gonna do is click on my header builder here I'm going to add another row and I'm going to drag this up on top. I'm going to add a short code element, paste this in, and then let's drag this over to the right side of the page. And then we'll add some padding around this. I'll just expand this row right here and let's do like 25 pixels top and actually that's way too much, 12 pixels top and bottom. We'll save this and go take a look on the front end. Now it looks a little bit more blended into the content. You might want to do some CSS styling on this dropdown, but again, this is totally functional, although that doesn't look quite right. I don't really like the way it pushes my page content down like that. So I guess there's a couple different trade-offs here to be made, but the point remains, it's super easy to add this. It works fine and it's free. So I'm honestly not sure what more you could ask for with this. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you. I certainly had to use it in a real life scenario, so hopefully you will too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.